Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It's a it's an a, unusual night for us to have a live stream, but it's a it's a it's a very unusual evening. We've got plenty of art to unbox from the next comic art crew, and uh, several of the team is in the green room. But before we get started, I saw Asian OTP Atlanta was asking a few questions about how to get started in the hobby and with comic art fans, and mentioned Comic Art Live. And I would just say, Asian OTP, you just need to uh, create an account on ComicArtFans.com. Go over there, create an account. You can post some of the artwork that you've been recently collecting. I know you picked up uh, some pieces on Wednesday, during the Wednesday show. So feel free to do that. And if you have any questions, you can always email me, Bill at ComicArtFans.com, and I can help you out with that. Uh, so without further ado, let me bring in... Well, first, let's get Jiggy in here. Jiggy? Jiggy's on the right internet connection, and he's uh, glad to be here. How you doing, Jiggy? Great. I'm wearing well, my uh, AFC Richmond uh, kit. So to everyone who, who got a mystery sketch, believe that you will get the art that you want. <laughs> I, I can only imagine. I mean, this is, did we do an unboxing the first time we did this? Or is, it, or is this just the last one? one? Just the last one. Okay. So this yes. is the second time we've done that. This will be the most art that we've ever unboxed at one time. I think there's 54, 55 50 pieces. Plus. I think they're 50 plus. Yeah. 50 plus. So we've got a lot of art to look at and uh, I, I'm excited. You are with me who will be, um, which will be shipped out separately. That, that is right. I remember that. So, uh, mm -hmm. yes, we have an unboxing mystery tonight, Marcus. Why? So, uh, so let me bring the rest of the crew in here. We've got, uh, Harvey and Mannix, Darling Kink and, uh, JP. How are we doing this evening? Woo! everybody? Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three cheers for the next comic art team. Thank you for being here tonight. We're excited. Well, as am I. So I should just dig in, right? So we should just, I Let's mean, we're not going to associate names with all these, right? Because I don't even have my spreadsheet up in front of me, but we'll show off the art. Some people who are watching will probably, at least uh, for some of the obscure characters, would probably know which pieces are theirs or not. But uh, yeah, let me see here. Well, before uh, we start, I wanted to say hi to, um, he messaged me earlier, Josh Flanders is hanging out with another CAF member, uh, Kinwall. They're having a barbecue tonight. So Hey, wow. Josh and Kim. Hello. Wow. Happy to have you here during your barbecue, Josh. And I and I, I should, you know, before I even open it, I should say, I am so happy to be doing this again with you, Jiggy. This is the third time that you participated in the mystery sketch. I mean, every time we've done this, we've gotten more people participating in it, more artists participating it, in it. And, uh, and, and the quality of the art, you know, continues to get better. So uh, I'm, uh, it's I an honor to be working with you. I wanted to thank Harvey personally because Harvey's the guy who goes beyond the sketches and he inspires the rest of the the team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! He's directing traffic in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we that's great. Up our game because Harvey's always <laughs> very high quality. Well, wait a minute. So do you have like team meetings where you show off some of the pieces that you're doing or, or, or just uh, we, we have or... a We have a thread on Facebook Messenger and uh... we just send out, we, I, well, I send out work in progress. And so like some people <laughs> like there's one, there was one artist who said, guys, I'm out next time. The, the quality you guys do is just can't keep up with this. <laughs> Well, they, they should never be ashamed. But hey, and John has, a jo has joined us as well. Hey, John. Hey, good morning, oh. everyone. Good morning. Hello, Hello folks. Hey, John. Hey, I'm John. Sketching. Yes. Hey, I got to tell you something, John. I uh, just found out today that Eric Canetti is going to be a guest at OAX next January. You're, yes, uh, I, I did know about that. Oh, you did know. So you probably knew about it before I did. <laughs> I just found out today. Thanks for not telling me, John. <laughs> It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I woke up literally 11 minutes ago, so uh, <laughs> please be patient with me. Good morning. Me. Uh, that's why the camera's <laughs> not on him yet. Yeah, well, I think you'd rather see this, uh, uh, like, <laughs> honestly speaking. <laughs> so where right, did you start uh, there, uh, John? Like, Harvey? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, let's say let's say that's my process as well. This is a cat <laughs> piece that I'll just be working on during the stream. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Mannix. Hello, darling, Kink and JP. What's up, man? Yeah, the gang is all here. And uh, Jason Harris wanted to thank you, Jiggy, for the uh, arranging a well, silver surfer submission by JP. Of course, Jason. Uh, Japes, is it there? The silver surfer. Show it later. <laughs> yeah, it's here. It's here. Yeah, show show it, JP. 
Throw yeah, it, throw it. it. <laughs> so, uh, so while I'm getting this thing started, so what's what's new over at Next Comic Art, Jiggy? Are you guys taking any commissions? Doing any art drops soon? What's what's uh, yeah? So we have um, for those who haven't subscribed to our newsletter at nextcomicart.com. Right after the show, we are sending out a very special announcement, and it is in relation. So you do not want to lose out. Yeah. And if you're not on the Next Comic Art mailing list, you know you can just go over to nextcomicart.com. Right on that homepage, you will be uh, prompted yep. to it. fill in your email address, sign up for Jiggy's newsletter, and uh, you'll it's be able to find a out. It's July after. special. Um, one price across all questions. So do check it out. Subscribe now. Yeah, I'm going to be careful here. And Damage any artwork. All right. And er, so earlier, yeah. before we started the stream, Bill had the DHL package already, and I said, I think you got to start um, calling it out because we don't want the, <laughs> the dead time. Right, Bill? Yeah, we're going to be about a half hour into opening this, I think. So. Uh... <laughs> and I'm surprised that ML wasn't assigned in our list. I'm so sorry, Mikhail. Next time, Mikhail. Next time. Mikhail, you got you got something nice though, Mikhail, as, as I recall. Not mistaken. Wow. You you did tape this thing in here. There is no way the art will shift in transport. Bill, this was the first time sent out over two kilos. Over two kilos. So the, so the largest it's the heaviest. The, the, the heaviest uh, shipment ever. We've set a new record, everybody. And your internet is, is a little choppy, Jiggy. I just wanted you to know I heard you're, you're kind of squelching, oh, no. although I wasn't looking up. It's okay, though. It was just a little squeaky. Okay, now. All right. Just one more layer of tape and, and one more uh, layer of packaging here. And I'll be in the, uh, in the yard. Here we go. All right. Let's see. So we'll start uh, from the bottom. Ah, I saw a preview of this one from you, Jiggy, the other day. Uh, this one was done here. Well, I guess I should make myself larger, right? While yes. we're showing our work here. Let me switch myself to that. All right. I'm not used to being the primary. So tell us about this one, Jiggy. So this, uh, this is the Green Arrow classic from Miko Suan. Miko's actually on in the air right now, headed the Dallas Fan Expo. He also wants to apologize. I want to apologize also. There was a client who asked for a black cat. So I sent in like Green Arrow and Black Cat were the ones um, given to, to Miko. And Miko, when he sent when he sent back to me, he sent me a cat woman mix. <laughs> supposed to be black And cat. it was a great cat so, woman too. I, I will say that. <laughs> Yeah, but, I'll, uh, I'll show but the cat not, not later. Black cat. But yeah, so what are you gonna quite. do with that one though? What, what's gonna happen to um, the? Uh, well, cat I will one? ask the the original commissioner first if he want if he wants if he wants that together with a with a black cat, and then if he passes, we'll offer it out there for the go. same price for the mystery sketch price. Very good. I like it. But yeah, fantastic. Yeah. You know, I'm not a DC guy, but when I saw this one, I mean, Miko's awesome. He went over and above uh, the, uh, the value that we place on these pieces. So congrats to whomever got that piece. I don't have the spreadsheet in front of me, but if you're in the chat and you see your piece, then... Uh, we then only had one green one. arrow. There was only... I, I think there might have been only one green arrow. So whoever got that, if you, you, you may know that it's you. Now we've got a lovely Electra piece, everybody. Oh, that's from Darling Kink. I was going to say, I thought that's Darling's right there. That is awesome. I love the tone paper on this one, too. It's fantastic. Yeah, really enjoyed doing that piece. <laughs> the next one she did is one of my favorites from, from the whole set. I think uh, Darling oh, Kink thanks, did a great Katie. job. Thank you. But you still owe me that work in progress that yes. you almost <laughs> threw out. <laughs> yes. Almost threw out a work in progress? We can't have that. No, Jason, I don't, like I don't get to pick uh, I don't get to pick clients. They they all get assigned to me. <laughs> oh wow. This is a nice wow. 
Yeah, I want this one. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a Mohawk nice. Storm for you right there. Mohawk Storm. Dang. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow. See, Jason, I bet you wish this one was yours. <laughs> <laughs> Way to He's rub speechless. it in, Bill. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is, that's great, darling. That's great. That is really fantastic. That's Thank you. Congrats. Okay. Man. Jeff Whiting says it's a sizzling storm. A sizzling storm it is, yes. One last look at yeah. the sizzling nice. storm. Wow. And With Marcus a, says bet. that storm is the best X-Men leader. <laughs> Where's Marcus? No. And Cyclops is the best X-Men leader. Come on. Uh, man, hit after hit, everybody. Uh, this one's by Julia Sabrera. Look at that. Dang. Everyone's speechless. Spider lady. Spider person. Jiggy, how'd you let this one go? <laughs> you know who, be who it belongs to, right? Like, I, sh I No, actually, I don't. Uh, it belongs to Maureen. <laughs> oh, it belongs to Maureen. Oh, okay, yeah. well, then I, didn't, I did not know that. Uh, that makes well, a lot of sense. <laughs> then I, well, then it probably is going to end up with my daughter, Gwen, of course. But, uh, well, then... Then there you go. I'll show it one more time because nobody's going to get to see that one again except for us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I don't I hope Gwen's watching right now. I don't think she is. She was doing some schoolwork in the other room. But uh, wow. Thank you uh, to Julius. That's uh, fantastic. All right. Well, and again, they just, uh, here's another one by Julius. Solomon King. Look at that. Solomon King. Oh, thanks. By Julius. That is awesome. So when, when Julia sent these to me, like, Julius, good, amazing. And then he goes, oh, it's all because of Harvey. Uh, Harvey inspires me every day. I love Harvey. <laughs> I love Harvey. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. Does Harvey like, you know, Harvey, you're always posting stuff in this uh, Facebook messenger group that you're in just to inspire everybody or to make them or to make them work harder? No, actually, um, Gigi is uh, the first, always the first person that I've sent all the artwork. And I always like hesitate to send it because like we, we have like a standard of what to draw and what, what to work on. But it's like, oh, I have this new experiment. I have a new artist that I discover that I love to incorporate my artwork. Like not again, that I just put it all the stuff that I learned from, from that piece and become like over and over again. So yeah, just keep like discovering new new style to incorporate in your work and uh, new artists to, to be inspired with. So yeah, just yeah, just keep exploring and exploring. Well, we've got another piece by Julie, uh, Julius here as well, and this is a uh, a phoenix. Look at that. Yep. Oh, man. Lots of wow. you know, nice cross hatching in this piece too, as well as yeah. the tonal stuff going on. I mean, that's fantastic. It's much in person than on screen, Bill. I know. Yeah, so I think yeah, the cross hatching is amazing. So, yeah, there's a lot of detail in this piece. Dang. Oh, boy. Lots of happy uh, mystery sketch recipients. I hope so. Here. Yeah. All right. We've got uh, one from Fra Raphael here. And this is, and I'm not familiar with the character, but I'm sure somebody will shout it out to me. Oh, this is the Golden Age Zealot. Ah. So we had like three zealots, uh, like, like a 90s one. A regular one in the the golden age zealot and raf uh requested this personally he wanted to do it so yeah yeah he's uh channeling a little Great bit stuff. of uh, travis in this piece i i feel with a little bit of the, the <laughs> i love the red detail the only red yeah color. yeah it's, yeah it's, it's spot color yeah and we discovered that Raf has been using the same pen for how, how many years? Like more than a decade already? <laughs> I think every time he buys pen, it always stays with him like for so many years. And he said like he knows how to repeal and open those um, like <laughs> like uh, the, the art pen that we all using this like one pen. I, I just do it for like a page or two, then I just throw it. And he's been using it for like how many years? So he discovers like <laughs> way to refill the the normal pen that we can buy for like uh, a dollar in the in the store. 
<laughs> insane. He should wow. make a tutorial of that so we can all learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's another one by him. Take a look at that. Let's yeah, fill the screen nice. a little bit there. There. So the, wow. during the draft, the uh, chose this first. He wanted to do the uh, MCU Iron Monger. He loves doing like robots and all these mech characters so yeah it had to go to him it suits him yeah it definitely does it's super it's clean good. bill right yeah no that's why i was like they're really uh, it, it is very if he's using this old uh, equipment from 10 years ago it's hard to tell because <laughs> uh, you know his lines are really sharp so yeah, that's beautiful. And it takes time. We've seen him in action. Like no wonder <laughs> it takes time, and it's so clean. It's a very precise style. All right. He does these small studies that uh, it takes him like a day to do, and it's a small one, and he have to redraw it again without tracing it. And uh, yeah, I think um, uh, me and Bard mentioned it to him like you need to buy a light box, a light pad. Yeah, that you just yeah, blow yeah. up the the sketch that you do. Then he wanted to redraw it, redraw it again, and mm -hmm. it will take so much time. But yeah, it's that's what a piece you can see there. Like it's really, really good. Now I, I remember seeing this piece being worked on uh, the Friday before Comic Con. Oh, Carolina. Johnny boy! Oh, yeah. yes. oh, there it is. Way to go, John! One, nice two, three, John. four, five, six, seven pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. I can see it right through the through the back here. It's it's awesome. What is that? The second Spider Gwen. This today? is the second of the night. Yes, a popular yeah. character. Not one Captain America has been seen yet, but uh, two Spider. -Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think those numbers will change throughout the evening. But uh, fantastic. Yeah, that is nice. Thank you. Seven sir. pigeons. Seven mm -hmm. pigeons. Time to beat the record, John. <laughs> it needs to be Eight prime cats. numbers only. It needs to be prime, Eight so it needs cats. to be thirteen next. Okay. And we we saw this one oh, uh, either being yeah. worked on, I yeah. think, or maybe you're finishing it up during that uh, show as well. Look at that! Yeah. Great zealot by John. Nice. Thanks, guys. Second zealot of the night as well. That yep. interesting. Two zealots, two spider gwens, and there looks like well, I'm not going to even guess. I, I can see from the next piece that. Could be spiderish, or I could just be misinterpreting. Thief. <laughs> oh no, this is not a spider. Anything? It, it looked like it from the back, but uh, now that I know it's it's not webbing, it's it's bricks. Everybody, look at that! Wow, it's lots of bricks. Shulky by John. Yeah, this is fun. I, I love the pose. Yeah, nice, man. Nice. Very, very nice. This, was, there. this piece was started Harvey style. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and what is the Harvey style? <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I do think I, I think, know what you're talking about. <laughs> How does I think no, 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 no one's. Uh, no, I, I have to say, I hate to say it, I did momentarily forget about the Harvey style. But, <laughs> how he likes to work from the center out. Yes, yes. Oh, right. I think if people, if people find out like Jenna Moore's style way back, they can see like it's it's way, way so much. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like right now, John's style changes all the time, and right mm -hmm. now it's become his comfort zone. But way back, uh, back in the days when I was in uh, in Cebu, the the, the the city where, where I stay college, John style was really like explode. Like it's yeah, one of the yeah. artwork that really inspired me. Like, still yeah, he, he does this. Oh, I don't know, man, if you're gonna, if John's gonna share it, like we will like blow our mind. Like John's these like were, a different style way back. These were drawings from college because I knew Harvey in college. Um, uh, I was much, much slower back then. So I had the time to incorporate a lot more detail in my pieces. And I also, you know, as, as a result, I couldn't have as much of an output as well. These days, when I do commissions, I try to do more detail than usual. But like my comfort zone style that Harvey's referring to is my like my deadline style, so <laughs> to speak, you know, since I work for Webtoon. Mm. But yeah, thanks for mentioning that, Harv. 
Well, next we have a pair of, of artworks by Rian. So let's see. Oh. I think we're we're going to change the score. First time for Rian to do this, yeah. We're wow. changing the score a little bit here. This Hard one is what artist choice. Artist choice by Rian. So she wanted to do it by Gwen. Very nice. Thanks to uh, Rian for joining in the fun this time around. That is gorgeous. And I think this is very appropriate for her to do this one. Yeah, she wanted it. <laughs> Sailor Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. That is beautiful. I love yeah, the sketchy background in contrast to the realistic skin, skin tones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic and very, again, very appropriate. I think we only had one of those. So if they're in the audience, they know uh, they know which one they got. When Rian works like this, it reminds me very much of like Adam Warren. Uh, uh, very true. Absolutely true. Someone whose artwork uh, you, you almost never see on the market. There's not, there's hardly, there just isn't a lot out there. You go on the CAF and you search for uh, Warren's artwork. I don't think you'll see more than, you won't see 200, I don't think, which is yeah. unfortunate. There's just not a lot out there. Um, well, we have the first Captain America sighting of the evening. Oh, wow. That. That's by, by Dexter. Dexter. Yeah, that, nice that is wow. nice. Oh, Bill, I have to send you the list. Like, which one goes to who? I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better, because... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that either because we have so much overlap because of the number of pieces here. So you you know whose was whose. Oh, and uh, this is a very Damn. nice Nightcrawler here by Dex. Nice. Wow. Great stuff. Yeah, that came out great. Yeah. Wow. Does like a little dry brush work in there. That's really sweet. Some spatter. Yep, and the spattering. Using a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hopefully, it's not a ten-year-old to toothbrush. <laughs> uh, now, we can... now, this is like a three for the price of one deal. I, somebody lucked out here on this one. I, yeah, somebody I lucked, is this, lucked out. Is this allowed? Can you draw three figures wow. on a single figure nine by twelve? What's up with this? No, I, I, uh, I, I talked to Evie to Emer Cantada, and like, he he was stuck. Like, what Moon Knight should I do? Like, well, I have an idea. Why don't you do the three Moon Knights, like the three personas? And then, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you talked him into doing this. Oh, he wanted to do it. Well, you, you, uh, three for the it's a three for Josh. It's a three for right there, brother. Wow. Well, that's that's gorgeous. Let's see here. And uh, when the when the recipients get these, because I'll be packing all of this artwork over the weekend. Make sure that when you post it to the site, you mention that it's a mystery. You get, it's a mystery sketch in your description. That would be nice. Uh, and here's another one from Elmer. Let's get that one up here. Look at Grifter. That. Pull that back a little bit. There we Bricks. go. <laughs> Lots of bricks. I mean, that's just a fun composition right there. I mean, yeah. you know, that, you're just getting a lot for a nine by twelve. With when you when you're you know, you guys are thinking so much about just the overall presentation of this piece. This thing's gorgeous. Wow, this show is very inspiring. <laughs> well, I can see why you guys keep having to like uh, you know, you're showing these in the in that chat. And everybody has yeah. to keep working harder and harder. And then look at this thing by uh, Jim. A silver surfer. Look yep. That. Wow. wow. Damn. Yeah, look at those three bills. That is amazing. Action back. I can feel the heat coming off that board. Yeah. Darn. What's funny is Jim is also in a very famous band. And he plays a lot here in the Philippines. Really? Yeah, aside from Joey, yeah. he, he plays the drums, I think. He's a drummer. Drummer and sometimes he sings. Yeah. <laughs> and he works for a streaming this. service, right? Oh, so he has... He has he, uh, yeah, he yeah. 
a local streaming yeah, service, like for yeah, Filipino movies. So he must have some of his, uh, you know, uh, music videos or something out there, right? That we could see. Yeah, yeah I should find great. it. I should check it out. You should. Yeah. You should. We can share it. Yeah. <laughs> the band is Jay Brothers. Jay Brothers. Jay Brothers. And one of their famous songs is the song called Pasaway. I mean, that, that, <laughs> What's Pasaway in English? Like someone who doesn't follow the rules? Yeah, yeah. delinquent. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Delinquent, yeah. Delinquent. Here is another one by Jim. There we go. There we go. Now, which Western? You know, I always get my Western guys all screwed up. Who do we got here? I think it's it two. Is, no, is it's, it, raw, I think it's. Wait, let me check the list. Kid? Sorry. Yeah, you better check the list. Yeah, I always get them. You know, it's, is it Two Gun Kid? Is it Rawhide Kid? I don't know. I never. I never. I, I wasn't a Western reader. I was a horror uh, comic book reader back in the day. Westerns weren't my thing. I love the art, but I don't know the characters. Somebody in the Marvel chat. Marvel Western said, character Two Gun Kid. Two Gun Kid. All right, Two Gun. Ian uh, said Two Gun. All right. Ian, you get the no prize of the night for that one. Thank you. Well, he has two guns. I should have, we should have known, right? He just had one holstered. Oh my gosh. Jason's gonna wish he had this one, but uh he doesn't, I believe, because this is another nightcrawler, and this one's by Jim. Holy wow. smokes. Yeah. Look at this. That is beautiful. Yeah. The smoke effect, man. Yeah. Position. So it's great. Wow. Well, I'm kind of jealous of that one myself. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right, another one by Jim, and it's a Captain America. Captain America is catching up now. This is. His I second. can I can confirm that that one is going to Alberto. <laughs> that Alberto. There we go in a little closer for you. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very neat. Someone's trying to put the flamethrower to him. It's not working. Oh, wait, till, wait till we see the next Captain America, Alberto. Now we've got, uh, looks like we have a few pieces here from Ellery to finish off this package. So oh, these wow. are on toned paper wow. and a little bit larger than the other pieces. These are so cool. That is the third Zealot. Zealot has sure. now tied for the lead, I believe, right? With uh, Spider-Gwen and two caps. Oh, man, this next one looks... Oh, man, this next... They're, they're all awesome. This one's this one's great. Absolutely great. But uh, we got an X-Men related character on the next piece. Oh, that was my favorite. Oh, you've seen it? So, you, man, I hate my camera. It's <laughs> the focus on uh, the art and not me now. All right. So, uh, wow. This this is uh, wow. Wow. unbelievable. Look at that. Yeah. When I saw it, like, dang. <laughs> I mean, holy mackerel. That is amazing. Using the sword Mike as a light Mike saying, Jiggy's yeah. crew really brought it up a couple of notches. So, Mike, uh, I gotta think, it it all goes to the artists. Like they, they they were the ones who who worked really hard on the the art. So I'm really proud of them. Wow, that I don't know. Okay, I, I think this might be my favorite. But, but it, you know, right? I'm, I'm, oh my god! Well, like this next for now, <laughs> for now, Bill. All right. So this is the last one in the package by Ellery, and uh, well, hot, wow. beautiful. Wow. Man, <laughs> no, no Catwoman here. Uh, oh, can I show the Catwoman mistake? Yeah, you should show the Catwoman mistake. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh flip it around here over to you. Yeah. The Catwoman. So magic. Nico was supposed to do a black cat. He did a, a Catwoman. <laughs> yeah. Well, you since know, we're, um, doing, Bill, since we're doing felines, um, yes. Sawi, Sawi just had one um, commission spot for the for the mystery sketches, and she did a Chitara. Hey. Wow! Oh, very, very nice. So that's yeah. one of the pieces you're mailing out. One of the 
Yes. The two. Congratulations to the owner of this Chitara mystery sketch by Sawi. And finally, before we, like, since I have one last little ship, this was the Psylocke by oh, wow. Harley. Nice. <laughs> Man. And, and, and I got to buy like, more mystery sketches next time. Like, <laughs> Jiggy, uh, Jiggy, I want to do like a, a samurai. Like, go for it. Yep. Oh, nice Harvey. Like Nice one, Harvey. So I see why. That's why everybody gets mad at Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> they either are inspired or they drop out from the uh, Mr. <laughs> Sketch Challenge. Kaja saying, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Thanks, ML. I'm curious what Jason uh, asked for, what he got. <laughs> I do not know. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I really didn't look too closely at uh, who purchased what or who got which list. Uh, I'd have to, I could dig around. But then I, even if I saw it, I wouldn't know uh, who got what. I know that piece is awesome. A happy mistake. Yeah. I would have thought he would have taken that with him on his trip to the U.S. or something, and just uh, you know, had it to sell. But does he does he sell a lot of art when he's on the road? Take a lot of commissions. Uh, Miko, are you asking yeah. me about Miko? Yeah. Um, I think he he doesn't do pre-orders. He does whoever falls in line and meets him there. Yep. Thanks, oh. Josh. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think. Let's see the next one. All right. Let's see. What do we got here to start? Uh, I was so sad to ship them all, Bill. Like, no, <laughs> these are all so nice. Well, this this is uh, this is lovely, uh, Mr. Mercado. Oh um, yeah, Miguel. Uh, look at that, Phantom Lady. If I'm not mistaken. Great expression. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's just gorgeous. Miguel so, wanted to mix it up. Um, Miguel was one of those guys who said, oh, everyone's stepping up their game. I got to do something different. <laughs> well, you know, whatever you're doing there in that uh, messenger chat group, but it's working. It's working. It's, here we are again. There we go. Uh, Jiggy sends us poetry every day. New poetry. <laughs> All composed by him. Inspirational poetry. Yes. Yeah, really you appreciate can, it, You Jiggs. can be the, yes, the best you today if you try. Mm. Just put, just put your best you forward. Uh, That's a very nice one. Uh, again, by... Here we go. Miguel. Yes. Oh, oh, Miguel. I'm sorry. All right. I need more Coca-Cola, guys. <laughs> what is this? Watercolor? Super nice. Uh, it's, yes, it's not wall watercolor board, that's for sure. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, let's see here. I think these are Mannix's pieces because I can tell by the paper from the back. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I have to admit that this is Maureen's as well because I'm, I'm quite certain she was the only one to ask for this particular piece. It will be a gift for our eldest son, because oh. he, he dresses up as this character every Halloween <laughs> at the uh, zoo and does a, a, a Boo at the Zoo event. So Mr. Skellington there, look at that. This is un What's this? freaking unbelievable. <laughs> this is Halloween. This, uh, this, is, this is the one that I was doing during the live sketch session. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. Manix, the well, details on the tower is just amazing. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I, it's, I so, uh, easy. it's so easy comics, Manix. Yeah. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, this is, uh, this is fantastic. I mean, um, thank you. I think Ma Maureen might have seen that video, but uh, maybe not. But she's going to be very happy, and that's going to make a great gift for our son. Oh, boy. <laughs> now we've got <laughs> Peter <Spider -Man. laughs> Porker. Love it. Isn't that awesome? Nice. Oh, and you got a Venom in the background. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, Manix? Acrylic? Acrylic, yeah. Acrylic and watercolor. Yeah. I mix the two. Bright. 
Yeah. What's your brand? Acrylic brand, Manix. <laughs> Holbein. <laughs> what? What? Sorry. Holbein. Ah, okay. okay. Same as my watercolor. Wow. Right. Well. Uh, yeah, another happy customer. Look at, I'm way out of focus again. I have got. <laughs> that's it. I've got to spend that thousand dollars on the better camera. Come on. Get I'm just gonna hold the art. <laughs> yeah. Oh go. wow. Well, um, we were talking about this one. This the, you were roughing this one out, Mannix. That was the uh, this is going to be uh, the, the Peanuts uh, Snoopy piece. Do you have a new favorite, Bill? <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that. This is one of the Snoopy. most challenging pieces I ever did. <laughs> I thought Mannix is just joking about it. No, it's so yeah. beautiful. Thank you. It's yeah. based on a so scene nice. from Trip to the Moon by George Melier. You can hear Smashing Pumpkins in the yeah. background. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, love, I love the contrast of Snoopy and the, the details. Yeah. In the black and white background. Yeah, Thank you. It really pops up. Yeah, because I and, love Snoopy. <laughs> and Max, I assume you picked this one. You were, you were like, I want to tackle that, a, a Snoopy. Yeah, they gave it to me. I was late during the the meeting when they were giving out the characters. So I think I like... picked this for you, I think. Yeah. I think. <laughs> well, then uh, you, you chose wisely, John. This is, uh, this is it's gorgeous. You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it does say thank you, John, right at the bottom. Uh, oh, that one. that one's going to Europe. Is it? Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, it's going to Europe. I think because I tried to work it out that uh, most of the overseas pe- orders were, went to you because they came to me, and then I'm the one who has to, you know, ask for a few extra dollars depending on what the shipping is. So, uh, I th- that's the only management I do of the list because it just it's easier. I don't want Tatiana or Ken or Mark to have to, you know, invoice a client for an extra ten dollars or something like that. So I t- always try to give you the international orders. Um, Gosh, man, the colors on this thing are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. This one is from a European comic book. Belize, I think. Le, 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 I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Mannix, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> that is Belize. super nice. Super nice. ML is saying, here's my European address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that is... moon looks like it's glowing. It really does. Yeah, I made it pink. <laughs> That's awesome. Super smart. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got a Shadow Cat. And we've got another X-Men related piece here. I think the X-Men as a team are uh, are number one so far tonight. Let's see, we got Lockheed. Oh, this is by Bard. Yeah. Bard Mendoza. Super nice. Coming nice. out of a wall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is this the one that Bard uh, redrew? The one that he did again? I, I think so. I think so. Wasn't nice. happy with the first one. Yeah, and he did it. He did. Uh, he did it again. I think Manix has it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Oh, wow. Now, this is one heck of a portrait here. Ooh. Wow. Vampy. I like how Vampirella's look is so iconic that you can just draw her head and it looks like her. Yeah. yeah. I feel like no, no right. other character has bangs, I think. <laughs> has bangs like that. Or fangs like yeah. that. Bangs and fangs. <laughs> That's the poem about her. Reminds me of the vocalist of Blondie. Mm. Debbie yeah. Harry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Debbie Harry look. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is sweet. All right. All color on that one. Yeah. Nice. Harley by Elmer Damaso. And he hopes that um, people get the reference. <laughs> yeah, that's super nice. This is Copics. Yeah, he tied it with Akira, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> he went overboard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's uh goes right through the back. That's great. Oh, look at this. This is this is awesome. Is that the Groot? Yes, yeah. it is. Wow. This is the Groot. Wow. <laughs> Super nice. Really <laughs> cool. You take a selfie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's taking a selfie. <laughs> it's a pink raccoon. Or <laughs> I wonder if Groot's captions are also just I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> social media, you bet. That's awesome too, man. Beautiful. Fantastic. Well, he's got his, uh, you know, his switch right next to him. I think. Yeah. <laughs> what a oh, zoomer. We got, we've got another uh, Vampirella here. Wow. Yeah. With the iconic bangs. Yeah, that's what we're all looking at, right? The bangs? Yep. <laughs> the bangs. <laughs> oh, boy. I love you guys. Good old Vampy. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that one. A little bit of bloodshed. Only one Groot so far, Ian. Well, as, as far as we know. You never know. There could be more. Oh, wow. Here's a couple edge. Wow, several edge to edge pieces in a row here. So uh, we've got a Hellboy here. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh, Kajo. Yeah. It's Kajo's birthday yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's still, in, uh, still his birthday in the States, in the US. <laughs> so happy birthday, Kajo. Happy birthday, Kajo. Super nice. Nice. Yeah, lots of nice details in this one. There's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do not know the character on this one. I hate to say it, but uh, dang, this is uh, this is stunning. And everybody can yell at me for not knowing the character on this oh, one. Oh, we were so all stumped by is this. Is Pirate Girl? Cursed from, Pirate Girl. Hang on. Cursed Pirate Girl, yes. Jeremy... Bastion, Bastion character. I mean, look at the look at that. Look at the detail on this thing. Yeah, nice. This is another one of those pieces where Jiggy and the group we were struggling uh, who would get this, and then we looked up some random. Some Harvey random said, people. "Oh, Kajo." <laughs> it was either Harvey or me, but Kajo is yeah. definitely a perfect fit. Man, nice. That's that's fantastic. All right, and I recognize this character. First one though, first one we've Ooh, seen so far. Big Barda. Big Barda. Big Barda. That Big background is amazing. Yeah. The birthday boy. I hope he's celebrating. Well, you said it's uh, mm -hmm. it's after his birthday it, where you're at. The day Here it's after yeah. he's, he's still sleeping, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, yeah, you know, this, I, I, this background is is crazy. Mm -hmm. Man, I think he uh, he drew that background while on a phone call with budget, like five minute phone call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know this character either, but it is uh, quite impressive. It's it's a Sandman character. Wow. It is yeah. okay. So look at that wow. from Doctor Spider from Sandman number six, nineteen seventy six. Yeah, nice. So specific. Yeah, it was very specific. I love the background also. I want somebody to hang this on their wall when they get it. <laughs> Not in the kids' room. No. <laughs> right above the right above the toilet. <laughs> like say, so, yeah. when you pee, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. Doctor Spider staring at you. Mm, no, that's not the thought that I want. <laughs> uh, 
A very, I assume this is Ghost Rider. That's really cool. The wow, yeah, that is nice. Ooh. With a stall in the background. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Very nice. nice touch, yeah. The skull. This could just be a me problem. Michael Rock, but... that's my guy. I love it. It is awesome. Glad do you like you, it, Mike. Do yeah. you other artists think that horses are super hard to draw? I read somewhere that horses are the hardest thing to draw. Well, not for I Kajo know. because of all the tick balance. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Well, that is yeah, another another fantastic one. Oh, now we're into Harvey's uh, stack. A uh, oh, Harvey territory. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dang, Harvey. Oh, boy. Look wow. At this. Ballistic. Nice. And Harvey requested this one, right? Like, oh, I want. Yeah, this he one. did. He jumped on this because he was gonna do a Mike, his best just, Michael Turner. Yeah, I, I feel bad if somebody's like, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a big fan of Michael Turner. Like, hey, I need to do that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Harvey, just here because uh, it's different. The face. What is that? Yeah, it's a, it's a very Michael Turner like like feel but i always have that um a little bit of uh like a lean you like uh i don't know if people notice but my work's always been inspired by lean neil lean neil travis mm. and michael turner it's always been there harv do you remember when you and i were hanging out in cebu you yeah. were a huge you were a huge top cow fan and i was into <laughs> like i was into cliffhanger yeah, you 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 love you love battle chaser so much. I've <laughs> I've known um Doma de Rivera's work because of you. Like I've seen like oh my god, like that's why like guys, if you can see the work of Janamore from that time, like man, it's gonna blow your mind. Like how how beautiful the the movement, the design. Like he's like if he's, we need to find that one jigs when we're gonna visit Cebu. Okay. We need to okay. find his work. Yeah, it's. I have to show this one off. Wow. I love yeah. this piece. Same detail. Yeah, gone, man. Look at the detail on that piece. What grade pencil is that, Harv? Is that like an F? Oh, uh, actually, it's a B. But the, the pencil that I I found it again, this one is my oldest pencil. Like, um, It's been with me for like more than 15 years. Like uh, it's like uh, Faber Castell from that I order, and this is the one that I draw for that. And this was like when you draw it, like it put back the memories and stuff. Like it's different than the other pencil that I have. I have like hundreds of pencil, but this one's have something on it. And I draw that one. Like oh wow, this is the pencil that I've been looking for a long time. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, insane. It's the what it's can the you draw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You should wow. also learn how to refill those. <laughs> <laughs> are you using a lead holder, Harps? I think we are using the same. Uh, yeah, but um, this one is a mechanical pencil. It's a mechanical ah. pencil, but there's like an ergonomic design. This is one of the first pencil that I've seen that they make the ergonomic um, um, holder in here. And it's exactly. easier to draw. And unlike the other pencils, like, it hurt your your hand, but I think because I've drawn it for like fifteen years, like a lot of X Men, Psylocke, and stuff. Like, yeah, it's been with me for quite a long time. What's its pencil. name? Faber Castell, uh, no, no, no. mechanical <laughs> pencil, point five and point seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, want... there's no name for it, like <laughs> like Muhelmir or something. There's now <laughs> Little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John, have you started that uh, you know the podcast yet, or is that still we recorded? In the uh, we're banking a whole bunch of episodes, and okay. then we're gonna put them up. Sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, make It'll sure uh, either you shoot me an email or have Jiggy shoot me an email when you start posting those, and I'd love to promote them. I I, I know that everyone's gonna get a laugh. I can't imagine <laughs> the two of you guys together, but I know it's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, man. So here we got another one by Harvey here. Look at this. Hey, Old uh, King yeah. Thor. Dang. Oof. 
Nice. I'm looking for the signature harvest. Where is it? Where is it? Where, oh, there it is. is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It started out real good. I just I, want to look at I the panic. detail. Look at that. Dang it. Well, you know, nice. Harvey knows when it's done because there's no place else to put a pencil mark. So, <laughs> no, I need to hide this pencil again. I need to <laughs> throw this one. This is this is not a good thing to hold. <laughs> oh no, little Jimmy. <laughs> uh, now let's see. This one actually says to Bill, thank you. So, oh my gosh. Oh, that's yours. That's from from way back. I was gonna say I lifted it up, and the piece I saw under it is. Yeah, it was kind of alarming. So uh, oh, that was one, from Miguel. This is from Miguel. This was for the twentieth anniversary of Cass. Twentieth anniversary. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this next one. Here we. This is everybody's going to get a kick out of this. This will not go on a T-shirt ever. I promise you. But uh, but you will you will uh, remember this one well. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the expression. I, I, know. I hope everybody's uh, hitting the thumbs up right now on uh, the YouTube channel. If you're not, yeah, you know, you're an embarrassment to the whole. Bill, you can change the the Doctor Spider uh, bathroom art. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is what you want to see. When you come to the yeah, perfect. <laughs> thumbs up yes. from the back of the bathroom door, so you know you did a good job. Uh, all right, uh, very nice. Uh, oh, now I, we, I know we got to see this one in progress. This is pretty slick. The black bolt. Wow. And the scroll. Now you can see it. Is, it is a scroll or what was left of a scroll. Yeah. Congrats, JP. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Actually, this is the first time I, I'm experimenting with style. And this is the first time that I really did this super thick lines. So, I mean, it's working. <laughs> I yeah, think it's, it's so, really great. Yeah. Because before it's just a just I mean I'm I'm using brush pen. It is just uh just a, a thin line of the brush pen. But now I really try this thick line. I'm experimenting with it. So I, I enjoyed it so far. Yeah. It's the eye was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh respect to uh the what what what, what's that again? The uh, hard boiled. I mean, that, that it's an inspiration for this. Yeah, uh, makes sense. Yeah. I always wondered what the inside of a squirrel's head looked like, and now I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just all teeth and uh, gristle. <laughs> Very nice. And I think we saw you working on this one too, right? Yeah, you were. You had this one going during the show. Oh, yes, yeah. Captain America. Yes. And wink, I, wink, Alberto. Yeah. <laughs> I have to research for the translation of "ouch" in uh, Ger German Germany. <laughs> it's uh, according to Google, it's "ouch," so I have to <laughs> write it there. Again, it's part of my experiment of making it super thick lines. So, so yeah, it's part it's... of uh, the Gigsila history. Guys, I think. <laughs> Well, you, uh, it's it's very unique. I'll tell you that. I mean, with the heavy, with the thick line, I mean, uh, that's yeah. I mean, I can't say that you you never seen anything quite like it, but it is awesome, JP. This yeah, is uh, that is slick and it's so bright, so and, bright. and bright. Yes. Now this next one too is is rather bright. I like uh, yeah, a battle damaged. Hulk. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Again, Ooh. playing with the thick lines, and uh, I just want, I, 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 I wanted to see Hulk uh, beaten. I mean, <laughs> there's some uh, comic book that, that interprets Hulk beaten, but this one is in a style of, I think, my inspiration is Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> yeah, so, it feels like that. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's worth it. And JP, I hope nice. you don't mind me saying, you know what this feels like? This feels very Mad Magazine to me. Yes, yes. That's also one of my. I, I, Giga and I were talking, and uh, we're talking about uh, not brand X, if, if that's the right uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Those kind of 
drawing. Brand X. <laughs> Brand, Brand X and the uh, the Image Comics one, Splitting Image. I mean, I, I'm, I, I really love those uh, illustrations. The satire. Satire, the parodies of, of the superheroes. Yeah. Yeah, Marie Severin was great on the Not Brand X books. Uh, this is this is fantastic. And again, I hope all of these end up in calf galleries once you uh, receive them. That that is a beauty. Now, oh, let's see here. We got uh, looks like we have a couple pieces here from Robbie, and uh, they are stunning. Let's start off with this first one. Look at we got a skull in there, so you know I couldn't hang this one up at my house. No skulls allowed. But oh, wow, the spirit. Nice. Nice. Chosen by the younger brother. Very true. <laughs> wow, we can we get to credit uh, John with a lot of these pieces tonight. John <laughs> said, like, "Who chose the spirit? Like, this is hard." <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it on purpose? You knew that he'd say that. And I told him, "Whatever you do, <clears throat> don't do the movie version." <laughs> <laughs> Well, he did a he did a very good right. job on this piece. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. We got we have a Punisher as well from Robbie. Oh, and the, and the other one's great too. Wow. You wouldn't want to run into this guy in a dark alley, even with the, with that uh, Punisher uh, gear on or not. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you do the thumbs up, Bill, he'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, it might work. It might work. This piece makes me think R.I.P. Ray Stevenson, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He was a cool Punisher. He was, actually. I, I actually like that one a lot. I mean, I uh, I like Birth Nelsa version as well. But, uh, you know, I, I agree with you on that. Slick. So I get He's like a, it's like a Punisher coming from Team Bradstreet artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. That's the last one of the night, and it's by Robbie. Very classic character wow. here. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Rocket Man. That is nice. Rocket Very Man. nostalgic. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was seeing uh, some photographs from a Drew Struzan exhibit in France. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, it just reminds me of that, that kind of work, right? I mean, it's just so detailed and, uh, and it's that kind of romantic illustration feel that uh, Robbie's got. You know, that's gorgeous. And I think Drew Struzan is one of his artistic heroes. I think everybody what? can see that. Yeah. yeah, without question. Yeah, that is really nice. Wow. Well, we, we've reached the end, but boy, uh, you guys have outdone yourself. Yeah. Yay. yourselves again i i can't tell you can i mean show one last bill what's that can i show one last oh of course here let me switch you yeah. for so, uh, on the big screen i think that jp really worked his butt off during this whole time and he's been drawing a lot he actually continued that hulk um battle damage and he did a sequential one oh <laughs> You gotta send me a scan of that. I'll make that a dueling dealers, uh, you know, show uh, show piece, right? You know, like the show thumbnail image. I love that uh, that second panel. <laughs> to talk. And this will be like, JP, can you do the sound effect? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's hard, but uh, at the same time, the sound effect should. Uh, that's why it's it has the S. The S make it. Uh, Softer. Soft. Yeah, soft. Versus Thompson. There's something about matter of blood with the S. That's why, yeah, it's a sub. Well, the uh, the Hulk actually looked handsome in the first panel, but in the third panel, not so much. Yeah. But Jiggy, you're going to send me a scan of that, right? Yes, and it will be up on the site. Um, we can't okay. do claim, but... Uh, Watch out for the email right after the show. Like, be on guard with uh, with your inboxes. But JP, can you show the Silver Surfer commission uh, you did for one of our friends? Fun is again part of my exploration because now 
uh, for the past uh, commission, I'm exploring with with markers and postcards and everything. But now I explored with the uh, watercolor, and I just bought this watercolor. I I I I don't have any idea if it's a good brand, so it's it's a gamble. But uh, I think it works because this is now. Whoa! Oh, man, so, look at that. Yeah, it's colorful. I, nice. I, because I, there, there's so much color. There's so much <laughs> color with my watercolor now. So I have a benefit of using them all to make it to have this cosmic uh, feel. So I love your new thick line art style. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey, for the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's wow. it. Dang, that that is beautiful, JP. Thank you, thank you. I think that's a good watercolor set. Yeah, using that one. Darling Kink, are you working on something? No. <laughs> yes, a commission, but I, I have nothing to show yet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We won't push it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to finish this weekend. Jason Harris, uh, I hope Jason. you're happy with that one. Yeah, that's uh, he is seems to be very happy with that one. Congrats, Jason. That is beautiful. Yay! And uh, anybody else working on anything at, at this time? What about Harvey? What is Harvey? What, was he, were you drawing with the magic pencil tonight? Uh, little little Jimmy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! Oh. That is for our, 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 our drop, right? Our the Spider Man. Yeah, so we, we actually have a. We're, we, we did a silent um, uh, next comic art character of the month last month. So if you notice, we did a lot of Batman. Yeah. Um, but for June, we're doing a Spider Verse. So watch out for <laughs> all the Spider characters dropping real soon. Harvey, Harvey. Uh, it's pressuring <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, it's a well, lot of pressure. Let's put uh, let's see what John's working on here in more detail. He's working on Selena. This is not a commission, but I'll be. I guess I'll be handing this to Jiggy soon. How many bats? I was just going to ask. That. <laughs> <laughs> <You didn't. laughs> I did not count, but I think it's thirteen because it needs to be prime numbers always. <laughs> ML, you will love the spider punks. I'll, uh, I'll send it to you since you said claim spider punks. Josh and, said uh, claim spider cat. No one's doing a spider cat yet, Josh. So, There's artists, a cat. someone <laughs> wants a spider cat. That's a request. You've got all month to come up with that one. Oh, man. Let's see. Do you got anything else with you, Jiggy, that you can show off? Uh, yeah, one last from uh, Miguel. This is also going... It's a Zelda piece. Oh, sweet. Yep. I love so this subtle. Uh, monochromatic style. Mm -mm. Nice. What else can you show? Hang on. You got to have, have more art laying around than that. Yeah, but it's because Jimbo's left me with a bunch of art. Um, they're all on sale, but here's what I'll do, Bill. Who, um, for all the mystery sketch uh, clients that got from Next Comic Art, if you um, post it on CAF by the end of the month, uh, we'll raffle off this Nightwing 11 by 17 to whoever uploads on CAF. Cool? That is uh, very worthwhile prize if we can say that yep. That's awesome yeah I, I, you know i like that idea remember we you know we did i gave away that Burton piece i think next time around we're going to come up with a few more giveaway options related to the mystery sketch I mean, that's fun i mean i appreciate the fact that we have so many people supporting it and uh you know we, we wouldn't have all of this great artwork to have out in the world if uh, we weren't if you guys weren't participating and people weren't inter interested in picking these up this is awesome no, we just wanted to thank everyone who participated in the mystery sketch i think most uh, well, all of the the members of the team love doing it and they enjoy doing it so yeah we can't wait for november true 
it uh it won't it's not that far off either and uh yeah jason's kind of he's like oh man lucky jiggy getters <laughs> so, <laughs> he missed out this time sorry jason well but kyle missed out from uh getting a piece from jiggy's crew this time too but uh what are you gonna do it's the luck of the draw um you know but uh but yeah no i mean again it's 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 awesome now i've got Mar mark hayes gonna be joining me in a little bit too to show off the pieces because you know all of his artists I think all of his participating artists were in South America. So similar kind of thing. He had to wait till they, and they all actually pool their artwork. So they all meet up, get the artwork and put it in one package. And so not only do they have to do the art, but they have to get it around to the, the group and send it in. So he just got uh, his artwork this week too. So, and then my final announcement is if yes. you haven't subscribed to our newsletter at nextcomicart.com, we will be sending out a new blast, which you cannot miss. So do check it out. When's the, uh, it's coming out right after the show? Yeah, before uh, 1030 Eastern. Well, there you go. It's uh, 1006, everybody. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you better do it soon. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll be looking for that. I should be done uh, with our show here around then. I should be able to see if there's anything in, in the art drop that I might be interested in. But oh, I think we, we updated our site. Um, the birthday boy, Cajo Baldissimo, um, wanted to do like an X-Men tribute, like a personal project. So there's some X-Men art by Kajo, which is up right now. So check it out. Uh, yeah, well, I'll do that. After. I can't do it while I'm, I can't stop while I'm chatting. Oh, Asian <laughs> OTP. Asian OTP Atlanta got the uh, Aquaman, Aquaman piece earlier today. So, yep. Oh, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> Asian OTP. If you have any problems with CAF, please let me know. Or just keep visiting here and asking questions. We can always answer any uh, any new collector questions out there. Uh, yeah, Jason, it's easier to speak in Eastern time because I just have it's it's ten o seven a.m. here in Manila. It's ten o seven p.m. <laughs> over there. I do not like the the daylight savings time changes though. I hate it. <laughs> Especially for art drops, like <laughs> Felix, oh, 12, oh, I have to wait till 1 a.m. during, oh, yeah. Well, you guys have uh, been fantastic partners of the channel pretty much ever since, oh, well, about a year after we got started. Yeah, but you, we've done so many shows together. I don't think I've done as many shows with any other, uh, heck, you've probably been on, you've been on the channel more than Mikhail or Dino. You think about that, that's really? a lot. Yeah, Chris oh. Snork's got you beat though. But uh, but well, yeah. How many shows have we done? We've done at least a dozen uh, sales more, shows. More. We've... I think it's more than that. Oh, Bill, you want to announce the artist who confirmed going to OAX? January? Well, I'll, he's right I'll, here. I'll, well, yes, uh, we know for for certain, and I'm going to put him on the website that Mannix will indeed be attending OAX in January. Everybody. So yes, <laughs> I I can't I couldn't be happier. I, I I got the next comic art logo on there. I put that on earlier because I knew some people from the crew were going to be there, but I wasn't sure who. So Mannix is going to be in attendance, everybody. So, uh, well, once we get the table numbers and all that stuff figured out over the next probably six months, uh, you know that make a beeline for Mannix's table. Um, but yeah, you know we're going to have a good time. Josh has got his tickets. Uh, I know uh, several people in the chat has already uh, picked up their tickets. Jason's going to be there uh mikhail already picked up mikhail you were like fifth in line getting tickets jason lad, lad we were checking earlier jason lad would got uh beat you to the first ticket purchase but uh you were right there in the first group during that show but uh but yeah and and, and we hope to have uh two three uh other next comic art crew at the uh at oax as well but we can't announce those just yet because uh, they're not all 100 percent confirmed I think one person is 99.9% .9 confirmed, but <laughs> until we get the full 100%, we're gonna, not going to make that announcement. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, uh, Josh is letting Mannix know that that uh, they are all going. You're going to party <laughs> in Orlando. Hey, see Woo! you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great time. It really is. Uh, Jason says, "Bring, bring Rian." We, Jason, we told Rian already. So I think it's a matter of convincing. Um, Rian in Bengal to go. Yeah, so it's going to be a package deal. There you go. You never know. The husband and wife tandem. Yep. Well, we've got uh, we've got the space. Like I told uh, Jiggy and the crew beforehand, I spent about five hours at the venue today mapping out the floor plan and figuring everything out. We actually were able to 
to jigger the layout enough that we were able to add six more artist space. So I feel really good about that. Um, Alberto, uh, I, a lot of us don't drink. Can can we get coffee or Coke? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, well, you know, we, we have a reception on Friday night, and it is an open bar, but they have soft drinks as well. So uh, you don't Hadra, have... we don't want to go to Orlando and eat Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that here. <laughs> yeah, that is true, though. Mocktail. See, when we were there, because Kazra is helping me with OAX, and uh, Kazra, Kazra actually asked them if they asked the uh, venue if they could make mocktails. And I'm like, what is a mocktail? And, you know, cause I don't, I'm not a big uh, drinker. And so they all laughed at me cause clearly I, you know, I'm behind the times, but they did say that they can make mocktails. So uh, yeah. So that's, uh, there's that. Uh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of fun. West, I hope you're able to make it to OAX. I think you would have a good time too, but uh, yeah, bottled water will be available for everyone. I can assure you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, oh, so Josh, see, it looks like we have a lot of people that are going to want the mocktails. So okay, we'll we'll make sure that there's plenty to choose from when you're uh, at the show. Bill, will you be in San Diego? I don't think so, unfortunately. Oh. I know, I know, you guys are there, and then I'm, the first time you get the whole, you know, get some of the crew there, and I'm not able to go. But yeah, I've got a, uh, you know, I, you know, I moved down to Florida all, about six months ago, and yeah, you know, I haven't seen my mom in that you know, since that time. So I'm making the trip there in the second week of July. And it's just the schedules aren't going to work out. I, I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking actually going up to Ohio and then flying over, over to San Diego and then coming back home. But uh, just too much all at one time. So my, mom comes before San Diego this year. <laughs> okay. It's in but, a month, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, what is the date on that? Is it like the 16th or... Um, the third, thirteenth. I don't even remember now. Now I've got got the dates confused. No, it's. I think it's the nineteenth through the twenty third, right? Mm. I don't know. You should know, Jiggy. You're the one who's setting up. Wait, Marcus says take mom. I agree, Bill. So <laughs> your mom can meet Mannix. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Uh, I have. I'm actually. You know, my mom's up there. She's eighty five, so she doesn't get around too often. But uh, which is why she didn't move down here with me. You know, she's got all her friends and life up there, but. Uh, <laughs> I did ask her to come to OAX and, you know, I said, you know, whatever it takes, I want my mom to be there because I think it's, uh, it'll be great for her to see, you know, the, everything that we've all achieved together, you know, as far as a, as a hobby and everything. And, I, and I, yeah. this is my first big step into doing something in person. And I, and I thought, you know, I really want my mom to be there for that. So she, she said that she would come down. So we, everyone will get to meet my mom next January. But uh, Jiggy needs booth help. <laughs> you want my mom I actually to help? do need help with the stands. ML was helping me. Like, where can I get like a a, a cheaper way of putting those? Um, apparently, they're all custom made, Bill. Oh, really? Those stands for the for the artwork for the booth. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, uh, Mikhail is a uh, is a is a wealth of information and since he's right there he could he could probably be uh, yeah i'll uh, just message him later yeah <laughs> uh the wombats yeah those are i never like putting those together and mark a's and he's in the green room he knows i don't like taking part in putting together back back walls at all he's not he's, <laughs> i was always uh out of the uh, booth when it was time to set up the back walls it's not my thing um well, but we anyway. take mark's time bill thank you for having us Okay. Well, listen, everybody, so, you know, I sincerely Thank appreciate you. all the effort that uh, the, the entire team put into this. You know, all the pieces are beautiful. We know we've got uh, more than 50 satisfied customers from the next Comic Card crew this time around. I Yay. Good job. Thank you to all the artists for giving it their all. I'm so proud of everyone. And I, and I have to say a huge shout out to Harvey for pushing everybody along and making yeah. them bring their A game, <laughs> bringing some of them to tears at times, and <laughs> making them want to quit and, uh, and and stop, but pushing them all along just the same. Thank you, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's cheering as well. All right, everybody. I you know again, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna uh, be bringing in. Thank uh, you. Day next, but uh, thanks everyone. Later. Thanks, everyone. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. All right. 
So uh, fantastic. And I got a couple of gifts out of that one, too, from uh, from the 20th anniversary of CAF. That's fantastic. I know everybody wants to see that one piece one one more time. Right here. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> Happy 20th anniversary. Maybe I, you know, maybe I will. You know what? What I should do is I should frame this and put this in the bathroom at OAX just uh, as a joke. It, put it up on the wall in there. I'll take it down every day. If somebody steals it. But uh yeah, thumbs up. I love that one. All right, so now, Mr. Mark Hay, my good buddy Mark, who uh, who's here, yeah, he's he's ready to come in here. Oh yeah, that I should make him be the larger larger of the two of us. But here, we'll we'll, we'll share the space equally. Right, Mark. I was, I, at, I was always your best help in the booth, wasn't I? You were the worst. Chris Haggard <laughs> was the best. You were never you were never there. You were the ghost employee. I was there. I have a photograph of me. It's right on the YouTube channel. When you go to it, it's me sleeping after yes, after all the work exactly. I put in setting no. up that booth. After you got tired watching us all work hard. <laughs> I did take photographs of you guys working hard. I do remember that. And you always made yes. me delete them. <laughs> they were usually inappropriate. So yes. You were all, you, it was showing off how uh how you know how strenuous uh setting up the booth was. And, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, hey, Mark. Nice to have you on. I'm glad you could make it. I know you were busy earlier today, but uh, you made it. I always love seeing your face. Let's see, look at all look at all those portfolios. And I know I know that's not all your personal collection, but damn, man, no. that's a lot of art to look at whenever you want. Yes, I do frequently. <laughs> I of so, course was running into technical difficulties while in the green room because my microphone wouldn't work out. Uh, work wouldn't work because I'd forgotten I have a new laptop because my last one died and I hadn't set everything up. So it was not being my friend. So I'm actually still opening packages as we speak. No, that's good. Uh, that's but good. I do have some already open. It, it adds to the, you know, the realism. I opened up the packages from Jiggy and Colin wanted you to know, as far as me helping you set up the booth, you get what you pay for, Mark. Just remember that. You got nothing to say. Colin probably said, well, set up the booth I'm pretty sure you got a free badge out of me every year. Mm, that is true. Uh, you're, and you're, how much are those worth? Those are worth like yeah. back then, but at least three. More than your camera work. Just say that, That's probably true. That is probably, okay, all right, you got me there. You got me there. Mark always did give me an exhibitor badge. And, uh, you know, I helped hang artwork in the morning. Yeah. I did yeah. do that. And take you it down in the evening. Entertain everybody else while I was trying to work. So. I can't tell you how many times this, this you guys are gonna love this. There were so many people because remember this is before I was on, you know, doing the live streams, people knew what I looked like. And I, I would tell people I was gonna be at the splash page art booth. More people would come up to Mark and ask if he was me than they would come up to me and ask me if it was me. And Mark hated it. He would always turn around and go like this to me. All right. Right, well, I should have taken it as a compliment because they're like, well, that guy looks like he's in charge and he's doing something. It couldn't possibly be that <laughs> slacker bastard over there. That's right. That is so very true. I, I did not look the part of uh, the owner of Comic Art. It's true. You you look like you, uh, you know, you're a man of responsibility. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, and you always had the big pouch. So, yeah, yes. you look like uh, you were in charge. <sighs> Good times, Mark. Good times. Thanks I'll make for always looking at my big pouch, Bill. Yes, exactly. Will you let me carry your big pouch every now and again? Hey, this is getting a little personal. All right. Yeah. Let me let's stop right there. Um anyway. Hey, so, we have slept in the same bed together before. So. Uh now see, I was not gonna tell anybody about that. <laughs> But uh, now, now you're getting way too personal. Everybody knows a little bit too much. There are no uh, photos of that, so you can't prove it. Hey, uh, I was your first deer that, on that you were hosting, and that you that is true. Mark Mark, Mark Hay was the first uh, comic art dealer to come to me and say, "I think you could build my website." I, th and, I think uh, you actually said, "Hey, I can build your website because yours looks like shit." So uh, I think that's I how that went. I don't even remember what your old site looked like, to be honest with you. Well, I built it using a Microsoft application. Okay, I don't. Yeah, yeah that was it'd be this a step is, up from uh, the artist's choice, basically. Just a small step up. <laughs> uh, 
He can't right. say anything nice. Didn't say anything at all. All right, all right. Well, we so. talk about that. We he, 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 he don't think that he doesn't take criticism for that site every single day. But uh, anyway, he's uh, consistent. Let's put it that way. <laughs> See, Jiggy's letting us know that it's when we slept. If it's it's different uh, if you shared two different blankets. All right, I got it. All right, those aren't pillows. Yes. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you had to tell him that. Of course, we didn't spoon uh, yeah. Kazra. I always made sure that there was a there was a pillow between us just just to be on the safe side. So anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so, okay, next. So Mark, what what have you? So you got. Uh, now, I thought typically when you got the art from uh, South America, your guys all kind of got together and somehow got their art in one shipment. Is that not true this year? Well, it depends on. So like America, right? Um, Argentina is not all one city, right? So mm -hmm. some guys live in Buenos Aires. Some guys live in uh, uh, Capital Federal. Uh you know, so anyhow, uh, other cities, sometimes they can get together. Sometimes they can't. Uh, some live like four hours from each other. Uh, usually I've got like two groups, like one group will get together. The other group will get together. Uh, this time, uh, let's see, I had uh, Emiliano Ernola send art on his own. Herman Peralta send art on his own. And then everybody else. Um, jumped in together, um, which is Damien Cuchero, uh, Leo Sandler, uh, missing somebody else. Um, and then, uh, oh, Fran uh, Francisco uh, Paranzini. And uh, shoot, my other guy, I'm trying to think if he has sent stuff yet. Um, so we've got uh, yeah. we maybe have one more to got get. most everybody um yeah and then i also got another package that wasn't part of the blind auction but uh, is a new artist to me and he did do some recent uh, commissions uh, so i might pull some of those out as well so. cool well let's uh let's get started let's see what uh right. what you've um, got to show off all right no Lieber Mayo pieces, Mikhail. Well, I have some Lieber Mayo art, but I left it at my shop today, kind of oh, on purpose. My, but it's uh, not a sketch, and it's uh, the book's not actually out yet, so I probably shouldn't be showing it off anyhow. It's some wow. pages from uh, Vicious Circle, mm -hmm. if you have been reading that. Uh, from this is I have not, two. but I know I know the what the book is. Yeah, issue two, uh, issue one was a all digital, I believe, but he's done some traditional pages uh, for issue two and they're, uh, they're oversized. They're sweet, uh, quite big. So, all right. So uh, Leo Sandler uh, is one of my Argentinian guys. Let's see how we, if I can get this correct. This is of course, Captain America. I don't know if that's so watercolor on that one. Yeah. So a lot of my guys um, have added watercolor. And I think all of the customers have seen their pieces already. Also, uh, Leo. Oh, did you pieced. do that? Did you, did you ship that or uh, texted uh, or emailed images to a lot of people? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to. I try to let them see the pictures before I just make them public. Um, yeah. You know, so it's. So it's not like somebody else is unwrapping your Christmas gift. Essentially. <laughs> you know, I feel like yes. that's kind of crappy. Occasionally it happens. Some of some artists in general get excited and post images up. Hey, look what I just did. Uh, but usually I try to have my guys give me a chance to contact the customer first and then they can post their stuff on it. Yeah. You know, I actually thought about doing that or, or suggesting that. To, and I forgot, you know, thinking that we should hold that back so that people don't see too many teases on uh, Instagram or Facebook or whatnot. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I get, I get it though. When, it, especially when somebody does something fantastic and they want everybody to see it, but uh, it, it does remove the mystery. <laughs> well, and you know, obviously the artists are proud of their work and of want course. people to see what they just worked on. And so they're sharing it with colleagues and friends and mm -hmm. um, 
you know, the the customer may or may not be in their feed or may or may not be in my feed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, usually they're tagging me. So there's a decent chance that they're in my feed and we'll see it. And that's why I try to get them to, um, to wait, you know, but uh, sure. now I think almost everybody has seen stuff. So uh, the second piece also by uh, Leo Sandler and it is uh, Goblin Queen. Dang. Very, very uh, nice there. I'm, I'm sure that you got a nice response from whoever got that piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've had some real positive uh, responses. Oh. From uh, yeah, there you go. It's Jason's like... piece. I had no idea, actually. Okay. But there she is. Thank you, hey. Mark. And then, uh, oh, man. I'm going to forget the character name here. I got to reference my. There we go. I knew it had year in it. it. I actually really like this, and I was, I saw the covers and stuff, but I never read Micronauts. But mm -hmm. this is uh, Acro Year or a Croyer, a uh, Croyer. Sorry, a Croyer. At least that's dang what I always said. I could okay. be wrong, but, but dang, uh, man. But yeah, I really like the piece. Shoot. Now Bill wants that one, huh? That's not bad. That is oh, it's Josh Flanders. Congratulations, Josh. Man, Josh can tell us how to pronounce it properly. It, yeah, who did it better, Mark or, or Bill? Just, just yeah. yeah not know. that Bill always wants to hear that he did it better than me because he does. <laughs> but, oh, but Josh, boy. feel free. Yes, a Croyer, a Croyer. There we go. Okay, all right. Yeah, Sorry, that's all right. Uh, oh, sweet. So Nebula, and this is a comic version. Bill got it. I knew it. Thank you, Josh. And it's awesome. I mean, I love seeing color in these. I think, you know, I think with every, you know, this is the third time we've done these, and it seems like a lot more artists are adding color to their pieces, which, you know, it, it definitely adds that little extra touch to make them a little bit more special. Yeah, I mean, when you look at most commissions these days, not many people do color. And so it, it's really an extra bonus, you know, especially uh, it just makes a really good value, a great value mm -hmm. for the, I, I, you know, you know, my opinion, I think the blind sketch event has been uh, an excellent value uh, for people, uh, people are getting, you know, not only full figure pieces and nine by 12, but also a lot of guys are doing backgrounds and color pieces. So, um, yeah. I agree. It's, uh, I, yeah, we'll be talking about that after the show yep. or after not this show, but before the next show in November, everybody, November 11th and 12th is the next comic art live. I can tell you that I've already set the date. And then, uh, got to think everybody can recognize this character. It's funny. Did we, I don't think we had, uh, this is the first Batman we've seen. We usually get a lot of Batman requests. Yeah. But... It was obviously a lot of Marvel, but there were some other, yeah. Mixed in stuff, so slick. And then these pieces were in the package, but I'm pretty sure they are new pieces that he sent me that are not part of the blind event. But I will show them anyhow. And this one soon is... to be posted to uh, your website, I imagine. Yep. So a very cool, nice painted Joker piece, and. That is slick. Yep. So wow. those people who just watched the movie might want a new cool little color piece for their office or home. So I have not seen it yet. Me neither. I had people spoil it at my comic shop today, you know, certain aspects of it. So yeah, oh, don't you... don't see anything. Yeah, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I didn't want it done to me, but I own a comic shop, so what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, that is that is problematic. You gotta you just gotta put a sign on the door. Don't set foot in here. If oh, you it was my foot. employees. So oh shoot, did you <laughs> so, fire him? Did you do did you dock his pay, or did you, you send uh, him back to clean the bathroom or something? I gave him yeah, I gave him both the business. So <laughs> I was not happy about that. And they they knew better, but oh well. Sometimes 
it, you know, you like getting on each other's nerves on purpose to give each other a hard time. I think yeah, you know, there's something yeah. about that. See, that's, that's what it was like working behind the booth with you all, all yeah, those years. Exactly. Uh, we are switching to uh, Damien Cuchero. And we have a nice. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you, that was one of the ones I uh, showed early on. I mean, that one's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'd sent me a scan of that one. That's great. All right, we got a little DC action coming in here. So this one's really cool as well. Fires Very from. nice. Yeah, Damien does good work, man. Oh well, of course. It's not mine, everybody. It's not mine. Uh, yeah, Bill's but... face is not on here. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let me get my Thor helmet. Uh, but, uh, that's awesome. I guess we're doing every other one. In this case, here's another, uh, DC character, very cute little, the Tanner piece. Yeah. Kind of a, uh, ground up view of her. It's very slick. Bill self-portrait. That's right. It did look a lot like me. I see. I've been flexing. I've been working out a little bit. <laughs> uh, woo. All right. We are switching to uh, Francisco Pranzini. So. Nice shadow there. That is yes, awesome. Very nice. Lovely. And. Oh, magic. Yeah, I mean, we're getting spoiled with all this color art. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I mean, I don't hate to say it. It's fantastic. I mean, uh, wow. And, you know, I can't remember who it is that requested this character, but it's cool to see kind of not your normal everyday character that you, you see. So, I mean, not many Wendigo collectors, know, you know. but that is pretty awesome. I bet that turned out great. It did. So, me back I, I think to it would the, be our that's our first one to go from a mystery sketch. Yeah. Take me back to the the burn days, you know. Oh yeah. The, the 120, 121 range. Remember those covers and, and changing awesome. it up? We've got oh it's like Judge, Judge Death, Death, like the uh the heart there. Of course. So that is one package of stuff. Which one was uh, Matt says that one was mine. Which one was your? Oh, the Judge Death was probably yours, right, yeah, Matt? Yeah, Judge Death. Oh, awesome. All right, I'm afraid you're gonna have to listen to me crinkling the paper because I haven't finished opening this one yet. Well, who's this one from? That's uh, Herman. Oh. And there's also, I think, some commissions in here that we had done previously and he was needing to send me. So you guys will get to see some, some other unboxing. stuff. A, re a real unboxing here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yes. I have not opened this one up at all yet. So. He's pretty thorough packer, so it might take me a second, I'm afraid. Yeah. Which is good because occasionally you just get it in an envelope. But I have been educating and uh, my guys for a while too. You ever, you ever get an artist? And not you don't want to name names. But have you ever had one of your artists send you the art in a tube? No. no. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, I, I, that's good to hear. Okay. At some point, yes, and I can't even remember who, but I think that happened once. Um, it should only happen once. But uh, but that was years ago, and I don't even remember who that was. But no, I, I usually, I don't know how other dealers do it, but I I try to go through kind of a expectation, you know, this is how I would like you to ship stuff to me. This is where you're sending it. This is the turnaround time that we're shooting for. So just kind of a bring everybody up to speed 
have everybody on the same page. So mm -hmm. nobody is disappointed. You have the art yeah. ship to your house or to the shop? Uh, to the shop. Uh, somebody is always at the comic shop except for Mondays. And uh, so it's just a easier, safer way. Mm -hmm. Just gets put on my desk in the back if I'm not there. And uh, yeah, that way I don't have to worry about somebody putting it on my front porch, even though it says to sign for, like uh, occasionally shipping services will do. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. Yes, we can. Are you a big ramen fan, Mark? Ramen? Yeah, yeah. I love ramen. It's amazing. It is. Yes, you. I, I can tell. I've been thinking about ramen. Uh, getting getting some ramen after uh, the show tonight. Do you guys have ramen in we, Florida? I guess so. I, yes, we do. Uh, the girls actually make ramen pretty much every single day. They don't make any for me, but uh, lunch every day tends to be ramen around the house. So hopefully, it doesn't start off as dry noodles. Just saying. Well, well you never know. It's Florida. Come on, man. You can't you can't expect miracles. So what do we got here? What, what I, all right, what, Herman what's Peralta. The what's the good? Oh, if you guys are familiar with Herman stuff, you need to be familiar with Her Herman. Uh, so he has worked on a, a number of Marvel projects. Uh, he worked on Black Panther and uh, Maestro Maestro miniseries with uh, Peter David and. Uh, most recently, he is doing a Loki miniseries. The first issue just came out Wednesday, and it's really good. And he does painted commissions, and as you can see... I'm, I'm going to make you full screen. This, these these okay. are worth it. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Yes. And so... so was, it, was that a commission for somebody... Uh, you know? That okay. So this is... And, and I... Bill and I have had multiple conversations because obviously he wants to evaluate how uh, the sketch event goes. And, yeah. you know, obviously no one's forcing artists to uh, to participate. Uh, they want to participate for various reasons. Um, this is not a two hundred dollar sketch. This would normally be like five hundred and fifty dollars, uh, a full art type piece. So. The people that get Herman stuff, in my opinion, are, you know, quite lucky because, uh, you know, I would love this for $200. I would love this for $400. So for wait, $500. It, no, wait, you said that. Yeah. So is this a mystery sketch? Yes, this is a mystery sketch. Oh, my God. I thought this was one of the, I thought you were saying that, like, this was just a different commission piece that was in no, the package. This, this Somebody got this? How, yes. how big is that? Even Mikhail says it. I mean, it looks larger than nine it's, by It's, by I think 14. he does 10 by 14. Ah, now, oh my goodness. Uh, so that, that was 10 by 14. Actually, I'll have to double check to see if that was mystery, but. Now you're, that, I mean, that, that's crazy. Actually, uh, that wasn't, well, okay. These 100% are mystery. And. Well, that one's freaking awesome, too. Yeah, as you can see. Um, I mean, his work is just, is, is really great. I I love his paint and stuff. And. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That is, uh, that is beautiful. So. Congratulations to the customers that got Herman. Uh, you know, everybody, you're getting a good deal, um, often a great deal. Uh, you know, I love all my guys, but, you know, some guys, obviously, painting is, they either were trained, um, you know, through schooling as a painter, whereas some guys, or pencil and inkers and then learn to paint and their painting is is very nice but you have classically trained guys like Paulo Rivera who came out of uh, Rhode Island School of Design as a painter and then he applied those skills to pencil and ink work uh, mm -hmm. but you know uh, you know obviously there is different levels of painting um, and Herman is is definitely is awesome. 
<laughs> That's great. Wow. Well, lucky uh, uh, lucky ducks so, uh, out there in mystery sketch land. Um, so um, actually, I, I think in this case, because this one is a little bit bigger than the other two. So the other two were mystery sketches, the Galactus and the Eternity. And uh, Doctor Strange is a full commission. So it the Doctor Strange larger. was not a mystery sketch is what you're right. But okay. yeah, so but they are very close. And, you know, the people that got Galactus and Eternity uh, are, are very lucky. But you see, you know, Paolo's stuff is just, I mean, uh, Herman stuff is really, really nice. And then I have a couple other pieces of his that are commissions or. So these, these are commissions that were already requested or pieces that he's sending in as a, uh, uh so them up on your site. This will make it on the site. It is not, um, been put up yet. Uh, it is a. Full figure. I'm such a need to full screen again. Yeah. There so, we go. That's better. Black Panther piece, as you can see. Dang. And all that nice background tree and the light breaking through the trees. Fantastic. Yeah. And then this is a commission. Oh, sweet. And uh, is Herman taking uh, commissions right now? Um, so, yes, um, I have been busy, obviously, with, well, with a lot of things. I was in Italy for a couple of weeks for Lake Como, and then I came back and got COVID and then had to go back to my shop um, once I could wear a mask and go out in public and try to get caught up in my shop uh, for being gone for three weeks. And then, obviously, we have pieces to ship out to customers. Um, so it has been a busy couple weeks and uh, I am going to be announcing. Um, so we are setting up at New York Comic Con together, uh, Herman Peralta, Leandro Fernandez, Brian Tease, Sebastian Fiumara, uh, Nico DiMattini, or Mattia, uh, who else? Am I? Oh, uh, Emiliano Ernola. Mm -hmm. And so anyhow, we're about to open up uh, a list for Herman. Uh, he is busy with Loki, but if we take the list now, then he'll have time to work on pieces before the show starts. So uh, hopefully next week I will be posting on splashpageart.com with a sign up for uh, Herman's pieces. It'll probably be bus pieces for New York. I'm not sure if he'll do full, full figure, whether he'll have time. Uh, I'll check with him and we'll, we'll clarify that on the website. But um, this is a bus piece that is uh, for a customer. Um, he This customer has actually um, had some other Razorback pieces um, drawn for him. And so he had Herman do this for him. So... Uh, I don't know if many people know Razorback, but uh, oh yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> there is a Razorback collector out there that I know of. <laughs> yes. So uh, yes, I imagine that's for this them. This is probably for them. Yes, <laughs> I don't think there's two. There's only one. And then uh, this is a really neat piece, uh, but also a commission. Uh, I can't say I even really heard of the character before the uh, person asked for them. Uh, well, actually, I think they gave Herman uh, two or three different characters to choose from. But mm -hmm. uh, he went with Lucky Luke. If anybody has heard of Lucky Luke. I have not, but uh, he looks and, rather lucky. Yeah. And I, I love how, you know, Herman did the wanted poster with the bullet holes and the light coming through. You know, I think that's. Very nice, and you get Lucky Luke's horse. I have no idea what his name is, but uh, so pretty neat. And these commission pieces are all uh, typically five fifty. Is that what you said, or in that uh, range? Yeah, five fifty. Um, I believe 
uh, possibly 600. I would have to look. And then also depending upon if there's action or additional equipment or things like that, like often we will have um, like one, one person wanted Maestro sitting in his throne uh, with um, Thanos's gauntlet on and then a showcase behind him of um, like Captain America shield and like all kinds of different right. um, things. And so, you know, full on backgrounds like that with a lot of specific requests, uh, you know, will probably be more than just a standard background that the artist comes up with, you know? Sure. And then this is another commission of Black Panther. Now he does great work. Yeah. Yeah, slick. That is really, really nice. How long have you been working with him? Oh, boy. Um, it has been a while. Um, I would have to go back and look, but probably eight years, something like that. Okay. Somewhere in the six to eight, but I think more in the eight. Um, yeah, we've done New York many times together. We. We did New York two or three times before COVID. So I don't know, maybe six years, seven years. Okay. Somewhere. Yep. And he's been, you know, working his way up the ranks as far as book titles go, in my opinion, uh, at Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he did you know, one shots and um, then miniseries and uh, eventually led to you know, multiple miniseries, larger name characters, larger name writers. Uh, so yeah, I, this Loki project looks like a lot of fun. I read the first issue, if you guys haven't checked it out. Uh, you know, obviously it has Thor in it, and uh, Loki is a good guy now, but he is kind of sowing the seeds of some of his previous, you know, um, personality i guess um so uh if you haven't checked it out it's a lot of fun you should check it out uh, at your local neighborhood comic book store let's see what we got here any All other right. pack art packages oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm working through it so uh emiliano or nola this is Darth Vader. Very nice. Oh, I'm going to forget this character's name again. Um, Bill, do you know the character? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach the back in the Rolodex <laughs> of Marvel characters. <laughs> It's obviously in that celestial silver yes. surfer realm. I, just, I can't I'm think of it. I remember. Uh, let's see. Living I Tribunal. Ah. Living Tribunal. Living Tribunal. There we go. Yes, Josh, you've got it. And then. Ah, see, I know that character. Yep. She's big. big. She's Barda. Lots of big Barda fans. You know, I just never really read books with her in it back in the day, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, my go-to were um, X-related characters, you know, X-Men, New Mutants. Of course. Um, and then, you know, you, I mean, you had good Spider Man. <laughs> oh, hey, now. <laughs> hey, art is subjective, Bill, and uh, <laughs> comic book t uh, choices are as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean. Hey! Also, the best art of the night, right there, Cyclops and his classic uh, pouch-ridden '90s outfit. I love it. Look I at that, everybody! You're a Scott fan. That's awesome. I'm gonna cosplay as Cyclops the next time Ooh. I get out somewhere. All right, good for you. <laughs> oh man, that is beautiful. 
Nick Make Forsky, sure to take your home. daughters with you, like for Halloween. I'm sure they would be excited to be seen with you dressed <laughs> as that. Yes, they they probably you know they probably would. They, they accept me for who I am, Mark. <laughs> See, you just got you just got packages after packages of of uh, plenty of art there. What? Yes, lots of art. So. Um, these two artists did not participate in the blind event. They did participate in Comic Art Live in some ways. Uh, so um, I have never actually asked him. I just started working with him, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. I believe I am, but Alberto Teresito. Uh, he has worked on uh, Valiant Properties in uh, Eternal Warrior. He did a, a, um, a graphic novel for them uh, recently. I think it was last year. And so he, we offered commissions through Comic Art Live for him. Um, we also uh, sold some pieces through Comic Art Live. Oh, nice. This is a piece that is available for sale right now. It's Loki, Thanos, and Thor. Some pretty cool giant pieces. Pledge shot. That's cool too. And these are commissions through the site through the site or from Comic Art Live, which is it? Uh, uh, well, I've already packed and sent the couple pieces that oh, cool. uh, we had already taken. But the, mm -hmm. this is um, other items that are still that are available for sale that he sent cool. to go along with the commissions. So, an Electra bust piece. So and these quite, will end up on the on your website soon. Yeah, they actually are on the website. I just added a few more today, but. Um, Yep. So then quite affordable. Uh, Electra is a hundred dollars. So he you know, does nice work and he, um, that's his only graphic novel in the U S that he has done. Um, he has done a, a lot of movie work, um, and other non-comic projects. So eternal warrior. Yeah, that's uh, that's graphic. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And I'll show you one more, and then we'll move on to another artist. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All and pen then, and ink. Um. Uh, yeah, pen and ink. Um. And then. Obviously, Electra added a little watercolor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, pencils in here too, and then some ink wash. Nice. And then also some, you know, pages from the graphic novel uh, are available as well. And then this one is not open at all. I think you've heard of this artist before. Uh, Participates every year in Comic Art Live. Paulo sent you some. Come on, yeah. What? Yeah. Paulo Rivera. So you've already seen these pieces um, in digital, and now Paulo is a good packer, by the way. Uh, he uses a masonite board and cardboard. So uh, nice and sturdy, lots of tape. But uh, so I don't know if you want to see them. You've already seen the digital. Uh, of course, I want to see them. You, you know, I love Paulo's stuff. <laughs> Paulo can he can do no wrong. I don't say that about too many people. I don't say that about you, Mark. Oh, I, I say know, that about I, Paulo. I know you love Paulo more than me. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> So how did everything go earlier? Um, 
You want to love me some jiggy? So uh, I assume you guys yeah. had fun. Oh, of course we did. Yeah, absolutely. I got to uh, go through 50 plus pieces of art. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of gorgeous pieces in there. Yeah, he does need a bigger blade, Chandra. Oh. <laughs> if his hands weren't full, he would have given you the bird. All right, all right, here we go. Thank you, Marcus. I figured I'd share this since you know it's technically connected to. Oh, this is the first that he's done this. So <clears throat> these are the four by six pieces. And oh, sweet. So he sent a little uh, an envelope this time. So we'll see who this is. The Namor. Yeah, those sold, sold pretty well, Mark. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a very popular event. Uh, every comic art live so far, we've been fortunate to have Paolo participate and we're always having people ask about it. Um, Jiggy included. He is, he is a regular with us. Thankfully, he is he a big fan. In, he said in the chat, he, the first piece of art that he ever bought was from you, Mark. Hay. I hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you have. <laughs> All right, this was quite popular. Uh, he also includes a a little sticker in the shipments, so you have a something else cool to go with your awesome. Yeah, there were a lot. There was a lot of interest in that piece. Yes. If you yeah, you, the way you hold that mark, that it's almost like on you. It, it your your arms are, but yeah, I don't like. I don't like that thought now, but uh, but yes, that was a very popular piece. Hey, I wasn't the one describing myself cosplaying in a uh, <laughs> a very thin, stretchy suit running around. Yes, somebody said something funny about that earlier. I didn't I didn't uh, highlight it. I don't. What was that? Oh, uh, Trippy Trapster said uh, Trapster said I uh, Bill would be more like Cyclops. Yeah, right there, Cyclops. Got it, Trippy Trapster. Oh, I thought he said. Thigh clops. I was a little yeah, nervous there. No. <laughs> oh, the thing. Yeah. You have to show that again. Chris Snork really wanted that, and he ended up being the underbidder on it. But uh, that's awesome. Now, that would be more, <laughs> more fitting there, right? Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And the uh, Black Panther was the other one, right? Uh, yes, Black Panther, correct. I think we might have two more to go. Uh, Silver Surfer. Silver right. Surfer, that's right. Yeah, that one was awesome. I actually thought that one might sell for more than it did, to be honest with you. I thought that one was, I, I actually thought this was going to be the highest uh, one of them all, but, uh, yeah. but still, did rather well. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah. See, Apollo can do no wrong. It's just, Everybody just recite after me. Uh, yes, that is so, so slick, man. I mean, you break break kind of the fourth wall here. You get Kirby, Kirby Crackle, Silver Surfer. Come on. Mm -hmm. I wanted that one for myself, but I was on a plane, so. So technically, you wouldn't have been in the studio. You could have tried to bid if you uh, would have paid for internet on that flight. Uh, I'm trying to remember what time it was. I was probably running on pretty bad sleep. And I don't know. I've never found the internet on the plane to really be that great, to be honest with you. So there's the Black Panther. Just awesome. Is there anybody in the, the room that... Are the recipients of these? I, I I don't have the chat up, so. No, I have to go through my notes. It's, uh... Oh, I've got it on a spreadsheet. I just don't know who's in the room, so. Right. Nobody was jumping up and down when you were showing them, so I'm assuming not. Oh, gotcha. So, let's see. 
I will try showing this without taking it out. I will probably have to take it out, although it's taped in here pretty good. But we'll start with this. Oh, man. That turned out great. Wow. That That is nice, man. That is really nice. So I will leave it in here if that's okay with the... I would leave it in there. Home. Yeah. That would... Otherwise, I got to cut the back out. So... Oh yeah, didn't Jiggy get one of them? Now that you're saying that, I, I think Jiggy. Yes, he, he did. did win one of them. Yeah. He's, why is he not just? Oh, I is forget he, which one. He's, he's is he in the room. He's in the he's in the chat. Yeah. Which one did he get? The Black Panther, maybe. I, I, I think know. that's right. I would have to go to my other spreadsheet. Well, I think that's right. Let's see. That Daredevil yeah. was awesome, though. Yes, Jiggy got Black Panther. Congrats, Jiggy. Another nice. Paulo for your collection. And yeah, Mark's always this calm. Like, oh, no, I should say no, he's not. You should see him the, the first day of uh, San Diego Comic-Con, about an hour before the show starts, when he's alone. <laughs> and his, no one's helping me. No, that, booth mates have already left him. Uh, that's uh, generally the, the old Mark. I'm much more mellow now than uh, I'm not well, around you, were, you and Chris. You were younger. You know, 10 years of, uh, you know, calmed you down a bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. So this is <clears throat> Leandro Fernandez. Uh-huh. And if anybody reads current books, um, this is part of, um, well, Free Comic Book Day had a DC, Dawn of DC Primer book that was like an introductory thing into the new DC storyline that's going on. And so this is a double page spread from the um, 11, 12 page story, something like that. That's nice. That really that nice. he did. So you get almost every character, but this just showed up recently as well. Um, does anybody know uh, my, my staff and I were going over, I think we got everybody. I'm not entirely sure who that is. Uh, you know, I, I'm not but a DC. Otherwise, I think we've got anybody in there. So, uh, some just all kinds of cool stuff um, has showed up lately. These I'm also not going to take out, so it's going to look like there's tape across the front of it, but it's everybody it's says, how I, Hey, just so you know, everybody's saying Raven as uh, oh, that's the new Raven look, I guess. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> so, this obviously doesn't have tape across it, you might not be able to see it and might not really justify showing it, but uh, online you can see the whole thing. But this is uh, that's this better is right there. A, Sean Phillips uh, painting that he did for um, Criterion um, film version of oh, The Great Escape. This is Steve McQueen. But if you look at the original or look on the website scan, uh, it's amazing work. Um, Sean brought some pieces to me at Lake Como, which is where we were together recently. He did another one as well. Um, that is also awesome painted work. This is Flight of the Phoenix, James Stewart. But like I said, it's all taped up. I haven't unpacked it from it coming back um, in the luggage. Wow. But if you check out the scans on the website, you'll see how it looks even better than my taped up version but yeah it's been a busy couple weeks lots of lots of new art arrivals and lots of shipping to do um coming up so hey, Cosra wants to know if the criterion piece is for sale yes yes it is is it up on your site already uh i am not 100 percent sure because some of the oversized pieces um, we were having to stitch and scan. So um, 
That is a good question. I am looking on the website. You might even beat me to it. So, no, I don't think they're on the website yet. So, those will be added to the website soon. Sometimes my guys have um, scans for me. Sometimes I am scanning them. And obviously, the larger pieces have to be you know, stitched together. Excuse me just a second. I don't usually talk this much, so I'm wearing my, my throat out. I know you're used to talking a lot all the time. But That's why I've got my Coca-Cola here. I, I know how to do these these shows. You got you should do them more often with me, Mark. Yeah, well, um, running a comic book store. Rapport. Huh? Everybody sees we have such a good rapport with one another. And I, I don't rib other people like I, I you know, I rib you. We, we, we do. We have that camaraderie, you know, yeah. we've, we've slept together. So clearly yeah. uh, that bond, it's the bond that, you know, that cannot be broken between men once uh, that happens. But yeah, just <laughs> wait till there's a couple drinks in both of us and then all <laughs> kinds of fun. And, and nobody's, not many people have gotten to see that. Um, but, uh, but those people, I, you know, I love Sean's work too. I mean, I, I've always admired his stuff. His paintings are just phenomenal. And, uh, uh, yeah, the, those are those are great. Love to see those in person. But uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything in the chat there. Um, but yeah, those are great. Right. Yeah, um, so we'll try to get those up in the next week. Uh, feel free to drop me an email um, if you're interested in either of those. Awesome. So anything from uh, did did Bermejo give you anything to bring back from uh, Como? Um, so. A few Joker pieces from the graphic novel, and I I put uh, four up, and two have sold already. Uh, there's two on the website uh, if you want to go check it out. Um, I love the two on the website. While they don't have any characters on the pages, um, to me, it kind of summarizes uh, the graphic novel in a lot of ways because... It's after Joker goes on his <clears throat> kind of revenge killing spree of taking out all of the rival uh, gangsters, um, henchmen. So you'll see four panels uh, with, you know, people being killed in various ways in each panel. Uh, and then on one of the pages, uh, one of the backgrounds is uh, Lee's, um, you know, very tight, um, you know, graphite pencil um, background, you know, that he does on some of the stuff uh, in addition to the normal pencil and inks. Uh, so if you, you know, Joker pieces these days are pretty hard to come by and at a premium. So if you've been looking for one to complete your collection, um, I know this one doesn't have Joker in it, but uh, like I said, to me, uh, it's got a, a lot of grit um, and summarizes a lot of what the, the book's about. Uh, I also, like I said, have some of the vicious. Oh, that Was that you and me in the back in the green room or was that earlier? I can't remember. But he gave me some uh, vicious circle pages from issue two that um, will be up when the book releases. Um, issue one was done digitally as... Many people know Ali has been working mostly digital the last several years and has started to do some pages um, traditionally again, thankfully, yay. Um, and so um, they're oversized um, and I wasn't coming straight home from my shop tonight, so I didn't want to bring those with me as, like mm -hmm. I said, they're larger. So uh and plus lee probably wouldn't be cool with me showing them off before the book releases but um uh, it's coming out in a few weeks i believe uh so we'll have um some some more original artwork from lee soon awesome. uh let's see they're I'm trying to think who else we might be missing from the any mystery um we said you were still waiting for one package to arrive right yeah um 
So Juan, Samu, the Starfire, I think you saw it and you really liked yeah. it. You remember yeah, that Juan one? did some amazing pieces. Um, and the Elric. Um, the El yeah, the Elric one is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, he, that thing was incredible. Yep, yeah, and so uh, Juan does have some artwork on the website. Um, if you guys haven't checked his stuff out, um, it is quite nice. Um, I've been working with him for just a few months now. But uh, he's got some published pieces, some covers, uh, and commissions as well. Um, and I, I know, I think, I can't remember if he was part of Comic Art Live. Yeah, I think we put him up for Comic Art Live in addition to the, the blind pieces. So you guys go check out um, the stuff on the website, get a feel for his style. But um, as Bill saw, he does some really nice stuff and his style is um, interesting, kind of unique. It's got um, cartoony is not really the right description, uh, but you guys will know um, what I'm talking about when you see it. But I, I really like his stuff. He, he does use a lot more detail than some of the other cartoonier style um, guys. Okay, yeah, so thanks. You have more skills than me when it comes to... I'm trying, trying to get it in there better. Let's see. Screen I, sharing. Something like that. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. So a little kitty Lockheed action there. But a uh, very nice style, very nice work. <laughs> yes no i like it stuff a lot yeah and, and fun you know i mean add some elements to it that um yeah it gives you some personality there mm -hmm. no definitely yeah he, yeah and he is the, the pieces from uh comic art lives uh mystery sketches were incredible so yeah he's he's got skills yep sure does and he's doing some cover work um and other comic work. Um, <clears throat> I know he's done some, uh, I think he did a Godzilla cover and Black Panther, some other stuff for IDW. Cool. Draws a good yeah. man. Yep. Yeah. Little man thing back there. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for that comment there, Jason. That we can we can get the couple package mark when we go to OAX. Or they as the, the chat likes to call it mega cox. I just have to tell you. I mean that would have that would have been a joke that Mark would have came up with back yes. in the day because he uh, always liked to rib me. Yes. Uh, I think I came up with your nickname, right? Uh, so my my nickname is B Cox for yes, he for would always Bill. be he's always like, Yeah, you're B Cox. So, you know, because why? Be, yeah, because everybody was calling him uh, Bill Cox. And yes, uh, yes it, yeah. That's why we have this great rapport with one another. It wasn't just oh, yeah. that we shared shared uh, sheets one night, one, once once or twice in San Diego. But uh, it's all that uh, it's all that familiarity, all that, that time behind the table. Marcus knows all about that and the times he spent behind the table with Albert Moy. But uh, I bet you Albert's never invited Marcus to his bed. But uh, those are that's or that's a tale for another day. Uh, but Mark, this was this was great, man. We do we yeah. should do these more often. You, you know, you right. should let me know when uh, you know you get you get some uh, art packages in from from the guys and uh, let me know, and I'll just have you on. You could be on a cap update. We can spend a half hour opening art and talking about it. You just gotta let me know when. All I'm right, gonna, sounds good. To do it more often. So uh, thank you. I thank Jiggy earlier. Yeah. You too. My pleasure. We uh, the mystery sketch stuff has uh, gotten better and better every uh, every time we've done it. We'll do it again in November for uh, for the eighth comic art live event. Hard to imagine, but uh, yeah, we'll do it again for that. Are and you putting it on my birthday weekend again, or are you doing a different weekend? I think we have it the eleventh and twelfth. Okay. Which was your birthday weekend? I'm forgetting. <clears throat> Hate to say that. Well, well my birthday is the eighth. So okay, the eighth. It was uh, right on top of it last year, I think, in this year. It was. I remember that was a problem. But uh, let me double check that. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it's 11th and 12th. Yeah, 11th and 12th. So the 8th okay. is a Wednesday. 
So that gives you plenty of time to uh, get out of birthday mode and get back into comic art live gotcha. mode. Uh, oh, yeah. and by the way, I, I suggest you make a print of that piece of yours before you put it in the birth uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. I should hang a print of that one. <clears throat> you're very wise. Or a better idea would be to print um, personalized toilet paper with that on it, and then all of us can partake <laughs> in utilizing your image. Yes. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think in the uh, chat room? Right? Toilet yes. paper. <laughs> yeah yeah everybody would love that yeah i'll, yes. I'll go through the the hilton double tree and swap out all the rolls of toilet paper in the i think so room. you should i would pay an extra five dollars in my room for bill cox toilet paper yes. with you <laughs> with a thumbs up on yes that's genius <laughs> josh flanders who does number 20 work for exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's awesome uh yeah jason says do it of course you would yeah. jason all right hey i like it there will be surprises galore at oax that's all i can tell everybody we had we had such a fun uh we spent the day at the uh at the venue um you know kind of mapping out the space making sure we had uh like the floor plan uh outline that i put together kind of fit fit the space like we thought and we ended up talking a lot with the um with our hosts at the Hilton who uh, had a lot of fun ideas and thoughts and stuff. And so, uh, yeah. And we came up with, we were brainstorming on a bunch of other ideas. So it's going to be good. It, nobody, uh, nobody is going to want to miss out on OAX this year. So, uh, I'm just, just saying, just saying it's going to be a, a great time. Something that those of you who can't make it, well, you'll, you, I will, I'll have to send you a, a you know, a roll of uh, toilet paper, I guess, with that printed on it as a, as a, as a uh, something just to dry your tears with. But uh, anyway, Mark, very fun as always. And uh, I think Mark's good. Mark, can I, you're, will you be going to OAX? OAX? I mean, do you think you're? Well, uh, you know, that is the plan. Obviously, you and I have some conversations that we've been in and we're trying yes. to work on some people. And, um, you know, I've, talked with my girlfriend to make sure the dates work for us. Um, so right now it looks good on our side. Uh, we will have to see if it works good for the artists that we've been talking to artists. Um, so we will see what happens. Um, obviously if we, you know, if we can work things out, then maybe the two weekends, if we can't work things out or we work things out. So things work out. You, you might, you might even just be one. That's what you're saying. You, right. you, would, you yeah. would be there for both weekends. Yeah. I, mean, I still think that makes a lot of sense for uh, for any anyone that's going that is an exhibitor that has, you know, that's, that has artists with them. I mean. Uh, it has been years since we did Megacon together. You remember? I do. I do. I picked up art from you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I picked oh. up uh, Lionel U, Dexter Vines, X-Men, DPS from you in like uh 2000. Well, you were, you were working the booth and stuff then right and michael no. lark was with us you were no i just walked up and uh picked up the art i was a shy collector probably didn't talk to you for oh really minutes. yeah that was the first piece of art i picked up from who was so it was me michael lark couple I was buddies i thought it was you that was pre-calf pre oh, okay yeah yeah I, I was a nobody back then I'm still. <laughs> I never treated you like a nobody. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I know. I remember. I remember the artwork. I wish I still had it. Um, Lanley, you, Dexter Vines. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't picture it. It, it was. It was very splashy as a DPS. X Men. Yes, it was. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was like X Men. It was an issue in the fifties or something. I can't even remember now. Where is that DPS? It's Jason long gone and it was pre miniature golf days. So I sold it even before I uh, did the miniature mm -hmm. golf, but I wish I had it. I do. Wish I had it. Yeah. <laughs> I kept it for a few years. So, uh, all right, man. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's after 11 here at East coast. All right. uh, but thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. And uh, you are pretty old. So I am. I am. I am. I'm older than you, right? Yes. Yes. Just, just by a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So, all right, everybody. All well, right. It was a lot Thank of fun. Thank you, everybody. Art. You have a uh, fine evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and enjoying looking at all the artwork with us. Uh, you know, I have a show tomorrow at two o'clock with Kevin Nolan. 
So uh, I think we got like 13 pieces of art for sale. Lots of good, you know, good stuff. Mostly published. I thought it was going to be the other way around. Like he was going to do some uh, like commissioning kind of pieces, but only a few of those mostly published stuff, but fun stuff. Kevin's awesome. We've seen him. Uh, Scott Doonbeer interviewed him on a com comic art live panel in November. So we get, we get to have him here uh, tomorrow and uh, you know, he's a, he's a cool dude. So I'm looking forward to chatting with him for the first time. Mark, All right. have a good one. everybody. Good night. And uh, I'll see some of you again.